Omaha is known as a great place to raise a family. We have some great schools, we have a thriving local economy, and we have low unemployment. We're the home of a world-class zoo, we are the home of Warren Buffett, and each June we crown the winner of the NCAA Men's College World Series. But what about the cost of living? Now, if you're moving to Omaha, how does Omaha compare to other cities? In today's video, we're going to look at the cost of living of Omaha, Nebraska, and we're going to get started right now. Hi, my name is David Matney with Nebraska Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, let's jump into today's topic. Now, let's compare the East Coast and the West Coast to Omaha, Nebraska. Now, this is courtesy of NerdWallet.com. Now, if you were in the Air Force and you were transferred from the Washington, D.C. area to Omaha, actually to Offutt Air Force Base, which is in Bellevue, Nebraska, which is just south of Omaha, and your pre-tax income was $100,000, to maintain your same standard of living, you would only need a household income of $55,732, which is 44% lower. Okay, now let's say you were from Southern California and you were in Orange County and you were transferred to Omaha, Nebraska. Your pre-tax income was $100,000. To maintain your same standard of living, you would only need a household income of $60,490, which is 40% lower than the West Coast. Now, since I sell real estate for a living, let's take a look at housing. If you were buying a new construction home in 2022, the median sale price for a new construction home in Omaha, Nebraska was $459,608. Just to give you some idea of the appreciation in our marketplace, in 2021, the median sale price for a new construction home in Omaha, Nebraska was $364,416, which is an increase of 26.1%. For existing homes, the median sale price in 2022 was $275,000. In 2021, $242,750, which is an increase of 13.3%. Now, when you compare Omaha to other cities, you get much more home compared to other markets. However, the one thing you need to keep in mind and understand about if you're moving to our area is our property taxes. Our property taxes are pretty high compared to other markets. Every year, the assessor is going to assess your home and give your home a valuation. Now, depending on your location, you can expect to pay between 2 to 3% of the assessed value in property taxes. Now, I did a video on how our property taxes are paid, and I'll leave a link to it in the card above. But long story short, you want to make sure you factor in the property taxes and the effect on your payment when you move to our area. Another aspect of home ownership is going to be homeowners insurance. Now, Nebraska has some of the highest rates when it comes to homeowners insurance. Now, one of the reasons why is because of our weather. We frequently get thunderstorms in the spring and in the summer, and along with thunderstorms comes hail. If you're new to our area, you want to shop both policy and and rate. If you find super cheap coverage, be very careful because especially if you're talking about your roof, you can, it can be a very expensive lesson to learn if you don't get the right coverage if you're moving to Omaha, Nebraska. What about renting? If you're a renter and you can rent a three-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage in southwest Omaha for around $1,900. Now, if you're a renter and you want a two-bedroom apartment in a kind of a trendy part of town, then you're going to pay around $1,400. In less trendy areas, you might pay around $1,000 per month. The area and the condition are going to vary, so you want to make sure you do your research. Now, let's take a look at food. Now, this year, a gallon of milk at Hy-Vee will run you about $4.18. A dozen eggs this year will set you back about $3, and a loaf of Rotella's sandwich bread this year will set you back about $3. Now, there is no sales tax on food. However, Nebraska does have a 5.5% state sales tax, and in Omaha, we have a sales tax of 7%. Now, if you go out to eat in Omaha, we have a 2.5% sales tax on dining out. Now, we have lots of great places to eat out, and if you want to look at some of my favorite places to eat out, I'll leave a link to the card above. 
one of the draws of Omaha is it's an easy city to get around in. In 20 to 30 minutes, you can go about anywhere. Now, we don't have the traffic that you see in other cities. And if you want to use mass transit, you can purchase a monthly pass for $55. But more than likely, you're going to need a car. Now, what does it cost to register a car in Nebraska? Now, we have all sorts of fees and taxes when it comes to registering your car. Now, if you're licensing your car and registering your car, and if you just purchased a car, be ready. Okay, we have a 5.5% sales tax. We have a boatload of other little fees and taxes. We have a motor vehicle fee of $7. We have a $5.50 registration issuance. We have a $15 registration. We have a $6.50 plate fee. We have a $50 local wheel tax and a $10 title fee. The average cost of car insurance will cost you about $552 a year. A gallon of gas at Costco this year will set you back about $4.44. And if you're using premium, it's $4.79. And we have two Costcos here in Omaha. We have one off 120th in Dodge and another one in La Vista just off Interstate 80. Now, does Nebraska have a state income tax? And the answer is yes. We do have a state income tax. It's going to vary between 2.4 and 6.8% depending on your income. What about child care? At Elite Learning Academy and Preschool, that averages around $280 per week per child. Okay, what about cell phone coverage? Now, if you want the best coverage, your best bet is Verizon, especially if you're not in the Omaha area. So you want to make sure that if you're transferring to Omaha, look at your carrier to see how their coverage is in our local market. One of the largest attractions in the Omaha area is the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. If you're visiting Omaha, you definitely want to visit our zoo. Now, if you're relocating, I would recommend a yearly pass. The zoo is open all year long. I would usually allot two full days to the zoo. If you're visiting in summer, make sure you bring your the kids bring their swim trunks so they can enjoy the splash zones. But a yearly zoo pass in Omaha will set you back about $195, and it's well worth it. Interested more in learning what there is to do in Omaha, be sure to check out this video here and you make it a great day.